Well, on the bench today, we're, we've got our muzzle loader barrel, and uh, it's just gonna be a quick one this week. All I did was profiled the, the muzzle here, made sure it was at a, a 90, checked it with my square, and it was good enough, uh, not good enough, I mean, it was dead on. So there was really no point for me to try and recut to a 90. So I just went ahead and uh, polished up the muzzle, I took it down to, I've got a 2000 grit sandpaper. Um, and then I used the old brass screw in a drill trick with some, uh, this 220 grit Wheeler, um, grinding compound. And it's real hard to see. I don't have a macro lens on the old phone here, but you can kind of see it cut the, the crown inside of there, inside the muzzle. And then I uh, went around the edge and took that hard profile that was left down with uh, just a file. And then we'll come back and clean all this up, polish the whole barrel and get it ready for browning. But that'll be for another week. So uh, follow along with the video if you like. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, now we're switching over to this uh, 400 grit wet dry. And you can see we've got the marks going. Come on, focus. You can see the direction we've got the marks going here, right? They're going this way. So I'm gonna switch and come across this way. All right, so we are going to crown this muzzle. Uh, I'm gonna use this brass screw chucked up in my drill. Obviously that's not the preferred method, but it's what we got. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this uh, 220 grit lapping compound that came with my uh, scope lapping kit. So I think this will work for our purposes. You know, it's just a muzzle loader. And it, since it's 50 caliber it was a little bit tough to find a screw that would that was the right size for this because that's pretty big um, but for 30 cal and 22 cal it wouldn't be very hard at all and they're nice and cheap so we're going to give this a shot got my lapping compound on there You see it's starting to cut a little bit of a crown into it, but it really isn't much. All right, so we got our muzzle crowned as good as it's gonna get with the tools that we have. Um, now I'm just taking this sharp edge off. Eh, real gentle with the file. And uh, you can see I'm just breaking that that hard edge. Um, so I'm gonna go around and just do something like this on every side and then come back and clean it up with some sandpaper and that'll be uh, that'll be that. Uh, not film all this though because the camera's kind of in the way of me doing my thing and I really don't want to mess this part up. I think we're going to call that crowned. It's really hard to see just the iPhone but there is a crown on the inside there and uh, I'm fairly happy with the with the muzzle other than this little nasty spot here, but I think I can come back and clean that up when it's uh, time to put the final polish on the barrel and brown it. And uh, I 
I'm sure I can clean that up. It's one of those things where, you, you know, you're giving yourself a haircut or a beard trim and you take too much on one side and you try to compensate on the other. And next thing you know, you're getting way too thin. So, yeah, you don't want to go overboard. But I can at least clean it up, polish it, and make them all look pretty good. So, there you go. I mean, that's what you're doing when you're using hand tools and you don't have a lathe. We don't have one in the shop yet, but soon enough. There we go.